Oh, shit! My Smurf is getting pretty high MMR. Ranked with a bunch of, like, thousands now. Ooh! Ooh! Well, I'm carrying I'm safe lane on the highest rank, so my team's probably gonna get tilted if I make a single mistake. But let's do it! Welcome back, guys. How you guys doing? How's your day? How's your weekend? Even though the weekend hasn't started yet, how's your weekend going to be? Hopefully good! Let me know what you're gonna be doing this weekend in the comments. I'm curious, I got an Ancient Apparition on my lane. Kind of makes me want to pick more of a defensive carry. Or like a Sven. I like Sven. I think Void is good. Sven is good. Medusa is fine. Kind of want to try Medusa. It's been a while. Medusa is fine against these heroes. Could be okay. It's good against Shaman and lane, I think. Void's alright. Not the best against Shaman, for sure. Uh, what was the other one I said? Sven? I think I'm going to Medusa. What do you guys think about Medusa? What do you think? What are you thinking? This is good. It's a really strong... It's a top meta hero right now. Heavily contested by pros. It's also a great PL game. I could PL. I really don't want a PL. Okay, I think it's a good Medusa game. I can tank Corona, I can tank Arena. It's a good Deuce game. I mean, I don't really... The only thing I will say is um, Mars is definitely a traditional... Not a traditional, because <laughs> it's a relatively new hero. Relatively is the key word. What I was going to say is that, uh, you know, he his Arena blocks out all of my autos. So if he puts me outside the Arena, I can't hit anybody. A lot of the time, Mars will make mistakes where they're trying to save someone and they'll just, like, Arena the Medusa in. And that doesn't do very much, unless your teammates are on the outside of it, in which case, okay, great. But yeah, I think this is a good Deuce game. I mean, they do have the Invoker. They definitely have ways to kill me in the early game. You know, they can chrono me into a, chrono me into an EMP or anything from Invoker. But I will say that Deuce, it looks like a good Deuce game because they, had, they have a lot of, like, of this cheesy burst stuff. Like, if I'm PA and I get chronoed into, um, you know, into a Cataclysm, I just die. In a lot of circumstances where Dusa doesn't and so I'm, I'm pretty confident however I will say I struggle with this hero a bit so I'm excited to play it to give it a shot I think I'm gonna be going just like a super defensive CS build do I even need this many tangos I think I do I think I'll need them with AA I don't know how much I'll get harassed but this build seems fine the quilling's good on Dusa when you're farming jungle it's also the best damage per gold it's 130 for six which I don't think you can do better than that with anything else, right? I don't think, yeah, I think it's the highest. So obviously you don't do damage to heroes with it, but that's not really my plan in the lane. I don't think I'm going to be killing a a Mars. Assuming he takes Bulwark at some point, I can't I can't do much to him. Or I should be going to the runes. Medusa is actually decent on rune fights. You can, And then the Quelling Blade is also good for jungling. Like you can cut certain trees. You can cut like this tree and these trees and, you know, it's good. It's super useful, so... All right, let's get into it. Go get your game leap sub right now. We put a lot of effort into every single video. Just made a cool new map awareness and team fight awareness guide over on the website. It's not out yet, but it's going to be coming soon. It was an off in silencer game I played. Woo! I'm burning myself out. All right, let's get into the video. Uh, yeah, my goal of this game is just to farm. Just got to hit my timings. It's not like a... It's actually pretty hard for me to kill their cores. Definitely hard for me to kill their cores. So... Uh-oh. Do I snake with this guy? For this guy? No, I'll just feed as well. Oh, maybe I should have. No. <laughs> All right, tough. I'm going to take the long way. I don't want to get caught. Just in case they ran to this hill, I'm going to take the long way. I will say that we have a great answer to the Faceless Void and the Mars this game in the AA. Both of those heroes, in my opinion, are very hard countered by AA. Mars because, you know, he's very tanky, so the AA kind of opens up the his tankiness right AA kind of just kills tanky heroes because of the anti-healing and because of all the control you provide and the amp. And uh, Void just can't time walk, so. All right, we got to get this range creep. We will be sneaking for it. Of course, of course. And then, yeah, as do so, you can kind of just, like, any range hero, you can kind of just hit. Obviously, my, my priority is going to be the CS. going to pull creep aggro here, all right, get it away from him just so he can't 50-50 as easily. He's challenging, but I'll, you see, that was a good snake because it hit him, it hit the melee creeps, and I got a lot of damage off. And I'll actually walk over and hit the shaman. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's dragon now. That's fine. Easy. Almost easy. Not easy. We can actually hit this Mars hecka hard here. He's he's just kind of standing up. And if the Shaman walks up too, you can see. This is why, like, Deuce is kind of nice with a hero like AA, for instance. Um, because you both kind of just want to stay on the outside and poke, right? And so that's exactly what I'll be doing. Oh, I did that so late. That was so bad. Didn't have sneak up for that one. This guy's crazy. He's almost gonna die. He will not die, but he will almost die. I do feel inclined. So I will. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit uncomfortable. He killed Shaman. I'm a little bit uncomfortable on this hero from time to time. So like, I'm gonna be trying out like buying mangoes and stuff like that. I will be doing a VOD analysis of this hero probably for the website. 
just to study it for myself and then to obviously provide the value to you guys as well. Oh, I got a mango. Look at this AA go. This guy go. Doing He's doing everything for me. Uh-oh. I need to back up a bit. All right, a little bit out of position there. Definitely want to hit this shaman here. You can see he's this shaman has bad positioning. I guess maybe he's not used to carries like paying attention or he's more used to like trading against melee heroes, but he's not really adjusting to the fact that, you know, I'm a ranged hero who can help out. All right, I'm CSing pretty well right now, I'd say. But yeah, I'm just going to keep, I just want to keep like fainting to potentially help the AA. And you'll notice I'll be autoing a lot in this lane. Definitely want to snake this. Should be a really nice snake. Yeah. And now I have this really large creep wave. So I do want to kind of try to zone Shaman onto the wave. Is he going for my courier? I don't think so. I'm going to run to my courier. Just protect it. Get my items. Super valuable here. Yeah, we're doing great. This lane is going exactly how you would want. I definitely think Medusa is pretty decent against Mars in the lane. Oh, that bounced exactly how I didn't want it to. Yeah, but even Shaman does not trade uh, trade well against me, so this definitely feels like a great, um, even a great pick for the for the lane. Damn, that actually killed him. Wow, it's a lot of damage. All right. So honestly, I could probably just now that I have this level two snake. Once the the range creep gets even relatively low, I can just auto snake it. Oh, how does that not bounce to the Mars? Ugh. That is just... That is upsetting. How does it not bounce to the Mars? That's insane to me. Alright, whatever. We're gonna pick up... We're gonna pick up our Boots and our Wraith Band. I do think Boots is good in this lane. Wow, this guy's going really far up. Okay. <laughs> I guess, I mean, he, he was kind of out of resources. Like, we were sort of out, out sustaining him, I think. Like, we are Oh, whoops. We were definitely like poking him down a lot. You can see I was putting a lot of pressure on the Mars. Like, I do want you guys to pay attention to the fact that, you know, ranged heroes are particularly good early on into the lane, right? And so you want to take advantage of the fact that you can hit people. Because if you don't, then at this point, you know, now now the lane gets a little bit weird. We, we kill him, but he comes back with full HP. Things can get kind of awkward. Let's walk over here, take the CS or not. If there's nothing to do, you can always help out with the pull stuff. You know, just shift over, help out. Right, cool. 25 at 530. Definitely not the best. Definitely not the best. But the hero's animation is not easy. I'm definitely not comfortable with it. And that's like a big thing about Dota. You got to play like a... It's good to play like three games of a hero in a row. I don't think like spamming spamming is good necessarily. Because um, then you, you only get good at one hero. Oh, okay. Nice to hit him. Thank God. I thought it should hit him, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, it's good to play like a couple games of a hero in a row. Like, for instance, like let's say I was to take this game really seriously. Like I was like super keen on getting better then I would definitely be doing that and, like, considering doing that. Um, I don't do it as much right now because, like, I'm more so focused on content and that type of stuff, but I do think it's useful now. I'm not going to be jungling for a while. I actually think I can just straight up bully the Smarts out. Seems like the Shaman's, like, roaming. I haven't seen him in a bit, so I should be getting these denies. I'm actually going to snake and just help out. I do want AA to just hit him, which he did. Good. Because I don't mind, like, I have enough mana and the Snake's a high enough level now where it can, it can conveniently just, like, be casted on this guy and, and bully him out. Yeah, I, I just want to like, because I can't really jungle that quickly yet. So I just want to more so focus my game on obviously getting my CS, but also uh, helping out. That is a little crazy. So, talking about crazy, this Mars is also crazy. I don't want my AA to chase at all. Yeah, I shouldn't have chased. AA is playing on the edge. Playing on the edge. Should probably turn on my shield at this point. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have shoved that in, actually. I don't know. And I also don't... Like, Stone Gaze is a weird ability. It's really weird. Like, sometimes it feels... Okay, maybe I can kill him. Oh, the Shaman's here. What did Shaman have? I didn't click his item. Maybe I'll take Stone Gaze just in case they go on me. I'll hold the point. It could be useful. Maybe if they go on me, I can just kill them both. Turn my shield on. Stick. Snake. 
All right, we're doing it, boys. I feel like I messed up. I don't really know what I messed up. Like, I'm trying to think what I messed up. My brain told me that I messed up. It's weird. Like, <laughs> when you play a certain amount of Dota, <laughs> you get to the point, I, I swear to God, you get to the point where, like, your brain just tells you, like, hey, man, you just messed up. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, why did I mess up? And it's not telling me. <laughs> I think I, I turned off my shield at an awkward time. I turned it off at some point there in, in order to guarantee that I had enough mana for Snake. Like, that was my reason. And I do feel like I kind of need to jungle. I'm going to be going to Dragonlance build this game. Personally, I just like the idea of Dragonlance. Dragonlance like Sanjani Asha. Oh, this doesn't give me any mana. All right, I'm going to have to go back to base. That was a grief. That was a grief. That was a grief. I probably didn't have to go back to base if I didn't do that. So I will walk back to base for mana. But if you do things correctly and like you, you bring camps together, you definitely do not have to. Uh, I'm just going to go back to base. I'm not going to hit these. Okay, I, I, the game's going great though. I have 60 CS, a kill, three assists. Things are good. Things are good. I definitely don't think I need or want to lane top anymore. I'm a really high level. I'm off to a good start. I can just basically jungle until I'm like 20 slotted now. And I think I should go Sanjani Asha this game because I can't really Manta the Disables. And so I think it's better for me to just go Sanjani Asha into like Scotty. I will TB back top. I know they used Arena, so there's no... Like, it's important to keep track of like what threatens you. So I'll bounce the snake off this. Hit him. And I know they're not here, so I can... But you, you'll see, I don't want to really, like, lane. Like, I don't mind shoving in the lane. But, like, after that, it kind of just becomes a waste of time. Because, the hero, you know, Mars is just going to annoy... He's just going to be annoying. Like, you I don't know. Like, this guy's pinging me to go on a Mars. I don't want to do that play. Like, even if it was to work, which I don't think it will. Like, I think it's just going to end up burning a ton of time. I just don't think it's worth it. All right. Wow, we're getting good at neutral items for Deuce, huh? But, yeah, like, you see what I'm saying, guys? It's important to understand what your hero does well. Like... Dusa hits creeps, okay? <laughs> it really is that simple. You hit creeps. If you're not hitting creeps, you're not playing the game. And so, you properly. So, it's really important to just focus on your game. And I really do love Manton Dusa right now. So, like, I'm semi-tempted to buy it. But at the same time... At the same time, yeah, as I was saying, I think their disables warrant more so a, um, a Sanjani Asha. And by the way, when you're farming these camps, it's important to turn off your split shot when it gets to one creep. Because split shot reduces your damage. And so you want to um, you want to turn it off, right? It's pretty important to turn it off when there's only one creep left. That is, I'll probably be taking 15 damage. I don't think they're gonna hit, they don't hit me that much. I guess they have snakes, but Mars TP bottom. See, I'm always looking at the map. You might be like, oh, speed your AFK farming. You're looking at the map. I am looking at the map, right? See the Mars TPs. That means that I can easily. Oh, I should go to this creep wave. Eh, actually, I'll finish up this creep. I want the camp to respawn, right? It's 11, so I want this camp to respawn so that when I go back there next. It shall be alive. You can see we're getting huge. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost a level above, or at least the level above the enemy mid laner. And this is, you know, this is what this hero can do when it gets off to a good start. So part of me actually is going to push, wants to push in this lane. It's a bit of a grief to the farming pattern, but oh, okay, see they're TPing. I'll back up here. I actually could TP in mid. Oh my God, he missed AA Blast. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. You know, everybody misses AA Blast from, from time to time. Looks like my team's doing a little bit of the, the feed shuffle. But you have to stick to the game plan. Your team might be doing this feed shuffle, but you do your thing. I actually can show up mid, though. Like, I, I definitely could and should defend mid. I guess OD's TPing back, but it is good to def mid if your hero can do it. You know, even as a carry, it's it's just such a valuable objective. You don't want to you don't want to give it up for no reason. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. We're going we're gonna to make sure we hit some ridiculous timing, right? And typically you skip stone gaze. It doesn't really doesn't really scale well. Wanna kill these creeps before Witch Doctor gets on top of me. Get off me, boy. Oh, okay. Doom TP'd in. I don't think he has any spells, yeah. I'm gonna TP to the triangle here. Oh, that Malik did a lot to my my shield, actually. It's crazy. I'll TP to the triangle. It's coming up around the ancient stack timer, so that's super nice. Which I'll definitely make sure I do. You can double stack these camps pretty easily. I guess maybe I could have farmed this small camp in time. Oh, shoot. I just did this back. Oh, my God. I just misclicked. No. No. I grieved. I grieved. No. Oh, I did it backwards. You're supposed to hit the Ancients and then the other camp. Tough. Whatever. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm definitely getting space this game. I hope my team's doing okay. I mean, it's 12 to 15. Should be all right. There's an Invoker. How about I... Eat up my AA. I'll hit the mid tower here, 100%. Huge fight going on top. Got a Dragon Lance. There's not even any convenient camps to farm, so. All right, I, I will not be bothering too much with this guy. I know Invoker was actually sort of mid. 
There's like a slight chance they actually try to go on me here. Okay. Do I die? Really? Oh my god, you just double bashed me. What? 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 How is that possible? What in the world did I just want? How do you triple bash me? It's a 24% chance. What is that, a 1 in 10,000 chance? How am I dead? I even knew that was coming. I guess I could have stone gazed, but I didn't think I'd die, which is why I let it happen. I thought it would totally work out. Oh my god, I'm actually I'm actually blown away that that just happened. There's no way that that's supposed to, that's supposed to work. Like, I knew that wasn't... I was pretty certain it wouldn't kill me, which is like, why... I don't know, man. That that was just I don't know. That's just ridiculous. I I, I haven't gotten that. Like Dota's not a very RNG game. It's just not, in my opinion. Like you can control most things. That was just I don't know. That was just BS. That actually makes me someone mad. I'll TP top. Usually you don't want to TP top because you want to be close to ancients. So I'll just I don't know. They're all mid. All right. This is really bad if I die. I think I should be fine. Alright, that's good. I get a kill. Alright. I really don't want to chase this guy at all. I don't think we're going to kill him. Nice, that snake hit him. Give me my mana back. Alright, we're back. We're back. A little bit of, you know, little, got a, you know, little tilting. Maybe a little tilting, you know. It happens. Sometimes you get tilted, right? Sometimes you get triple bashed and die because of it. My tough. Nice. My team's doing great. Whew. All right. All right. All right. I can't believe that guy just jumped forward like he did. It was such a bad play, but it worked. Which is like makes... That's what makes me the most mad. When people like make bad plays and it works out. It makes them have like bad habits and stuff. <laughs> all right. We got our Sanji now. We're still super farm. Now I certainly do not die to that nonsense. And we'll definitely be buying a Scotty next. It's really good against Invoker. It's really good against... um Against Void. Right? Kind of reduces the... It reduces the healing when time walks. Dragon scale. Give this to Doom. And I think people take the Mystic Snake Madigan, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure they take them. Uh, they take the Snake Talents. I'll be giving it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Let's go make sure we stack up these Ancients. I will not be joining a Smoke Gank. Not yet. Not yet. It's it's coming. It's it's almost that time. It's almost like group up and do stuff time. But Deuce is more of a three item timing hero, right? You're more so looking for that three item timing. My teammates are using Twitch memes in voice comps. That's a GG for sure. All right, Venge almost has um, Venge almost has has her. Uh, oh my god, I can't even speak. Almost has her eggs. That's actually such a big timing. It's also a great hero with uh, with Dusa. A lot of minus armor, good kite, it's really good. I probably should take stats over stone gaze. Maybe is it worth it to take stats over stone gaze? Kind of feels like it is. Venge has her eggs. It's a great timing. I still can't get over the fact that I died earlier. I just can't. I just can't. It just griefed me. My mentality, it's shattered. Looks like a pretty bad fight, not gonna lie. Maybe I'll shift over, but it's kind of a long trek. I'll just go push him bottom instead. As I said, this Scotty's such a big timing that I'd rather put the priority on that. There we go, clear that up. Clear that up. We'll push in. We should be able to push in two waves here. So the next wave is like just a bit behind this wave. So should be able to do two waves. Then back to this neutral camp. Oh, you idiot. Oh, oh my God. They blocked them both. <laughs> you hate to see it. Sometimes your team blocks both your camps. It is what it is. Do I take this bullwhip to run from place to place? Kind of feels good. Like. I feel like this bullwhip, I mean, I do lose a bit of Agi, obviously, but I don't know. It could be the play. Almost got the Scotty. Almost got the Scotty. We're on our way. After Scotty, I'll probably try out the Ags. I heard it's good. Turns people to stone. Makes them stoners. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. My OD's getting gone on. Guess I can walk forward to this. team's doing really well they're communicating really well it's like shocking i feel like they're i mean obviously they're oh, everyone's gonna make mistakes but 
They're like opening up the map really well. They're like kiting in and out. I can just hear it from their comms. Good. You can tell I'm gaining MMR just based on the communication. Should be dragging this together. And yeah, now now when I'm level 20, especially, especially when I hit level 20, um, with the Scotty timing, it gets pretty nuts, right? And yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go the eggs next. It seems cool. I also took the snake talent, so it seems even more justified. I'm gonna be taking the snake talent, so. Yeah. Is this our outpost? I don't know. That was a stupid question. Alright. Definitely a solid fight. Our Venge is still alive. That Venjags is pretty nuts. And you'll see the damage is gonna pump out, right? When I show up, considering I died, I mean, Zero Farm's pretty quick, pretty quick. And I'm definitely good against Void. I think I'm definitely a Void counter. I guess sometimes you go uh, Ags over the Scotty here, which makes sense. I definitely think it's a great Scotty game, though, I will say. So I don't, I don't like, uh, like, regret buying Scotty, for sure. I'm gonna run for this DD. Oh, no, they're killing it. We get a quick shaman pick off. Nice, I got a do solution. Look at look at it go. The Scotty slow. <laughs> really don't want to hit this mid tower. I'd much rather hit Roche. This guy is dead. The Void is pretty farmed for sure, but as I said, I, I definitely feel like we have answers to him. You know, we can just doom him in the fights, hopefully. So many stone games would save my teammates. Oh, he froze. Look at me go! I'm so good! Dude, he has an illusion. Stun. Ben, you're alive. Oh, what the... Alright, I'll back up. I think he forgot. <laughs> I think he forgot that he had Ags there. He could've just stunned him. We would've killed them all. <laughs> Tough happens. Alright. Good. We. I mean, as you can see, the Void, he obviously can't kill me. So the Void has to completely ignore me in fights. So that's obviously great. We can farm up their jungle, no problem here. We almost got our Ags. I'm really curious to see how good this Ags will be. I do kind of feel like maybe I should just be buying an MKB, to be honest. Especially after this Scotty. Um, it does feel like the MKB would be super value. Either way, I'm I'm unbelievably farmed. Like, it, it's pretty ridiculous how high my net worth is. I almost have 400 CS right now. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep it on my team. Make sure I don't get picked off or anything like that. Definitely don't want to take any risks. We're so far ahead. At least I'm so far ahead. I think we're so far ahead, to be honest, in terms of just overall net worth. But, um... I don't think there's any point of taking chances. Yeah, I'll TP. Kind of wanted to push in mid first, but should be alright. They don't have Chrono either, so this is definitely a great time to rush. Turn off the split shot when you're rushing. Very important. Oh, no, I missed. Oh. Alright, I have two lives. Let's see if they can kill me twice. I don't think they could kill me once, but we'll see about twice. <laughs> you should just look to swap someone. Put them in such a bad spot. Actually, I think I'm gonna kind of feel like I should go bullwhip over the heel. I'm gonna slow people. This guy's out of position. <laughs> the Ags, he got stoned. My Doom is doing some weird stuff right now. Can't really hit. <laughs> yeah, we can just get top in, I think. They have a lot of stalled nonsense. I'll cut the mid wave. I'll let my team go top. I'll cut mid wave just because I don't want them to do it. I want I want to be the guy doing it. We also got new neutrals. We should I should definitely look for one. But yeah, the eggs really came into play there. It stoned that guy for a long time too. I was actually surprised how how much it did.
my god, look at that. They're actually, they can't move. Oh, what an awful astral. I just need to reset. I just need to get my mana back up. I think I definitely take this bull whip out. Uh -oh. oh, we got a Doom on Void. Uh, this is kind of weird. I'm going to make sure I focus the fight. I'll turn on Stone Gaze just to try to protect my team. As you can see, Mars. A little bit of a problem for me. I'll kind of just run at their back line. It's a good snake. It's going to hit both of them. Alright, I'm going to have to reset. Did a good all of mana back from that. Pretty insane. It's, 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 it can be a little bit hard to go high ground, obviously. Bit of a pain. <laughs> just hit this tower. can't move. I'm just grieving him so he cannot move against me. He literally cannot move. <clears throat> pretty funny. Alright, we'll definitely take the modifiers here. Get that AoE Scotty slow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mindbreaker? Should probably take that. What was Aegis? You guys know Aegis Timer? You vortex it? I don't know if it works. I'm just gonna walk up, honestly. I'm, I'm just gonna walk up. Put down a sentry, that guy's trapped. So I'm gonna stone gaze when he chronos, just to kind of zone out his team. I think it's the right play. I'm kind of messing up though. This should be a good snake, hopefully. I'm going a little bit far, I will be honest. Oh my god, my Aegis is out. <sighs> Hope they can get this kill. Ah, uh, what a throw. Aegis ran out at literally the worst time. I also went too far. My Doom also... I mean, they timed it. Also, Doom shouldn't have been on the high ground. That was, that was a big mistake on his part. He should just be waiting. Really. You know, there's no reason for him to walk up or anything like that. He 100% just needs to just needs to chill. But it's alright. I think we're, we're still okay. It was just like really bad. I mean, we didn't get off Doom. You know, uh, OD clearly. I mean, this guy's pretty useless to be honest. I guess he can Astral save me, but... I don't know how he didn't Astral save Doom to be honest. That's also why you need to keep track of Roche Timer for all your support players. You know, like I didn't know when it was going to run out. And of course that happens. And it might be like, oh my god, that's so unlucky. And it is, but at the same time, it's completely avoidable, right? Like, I would've just completely backed off if I knew it was ending. We're smoked. We got some top wave issues. I guess AA's W is on it. He's got the shard, it seems. Yep. It seems like a great jump. Let's kill him. So he's gonna break the smoke out of vision. Never mind. W, W. Oh my god. Cast your W for vision. How do you mess that up? I don't know why I didn't cast their spells. It was so bizarre. I'm just going to keep shoving in mid. If they go on me, I think it's bad. I don't think they can just kill me when I'm alone. As long as, like, AA is close, I think. I mean, I have to be a bit careful. Because I'm not a huge fan of my positioning right now. I could get caught out. But I do want to cut this midway really bad. I think it's important. Just to prevent any split pushing for mid, which I, is a big deal. I need a swap uh, if they chrono me. 
I have no mana, guys. Let me. I need to find the creeps. How much does that give me? Oh my god, that gives me nothing. Oh, good thing I. Good thing I was paying attention and got off stone gaze. Oh my god. Dude, Doom needs an armor item. He's like a Shiva's or something. Flicker's pretty good, to be honest. I'm actually surprised uh, how how quickly my mana dropped there. It's actually kind of concerning. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys. A little bit concerning. I'm targeted with a spell. A single Mystic Snake is sent back. Oh, that's really good, though, right? Because it could cancel shackles. I should definitely take that. I think it cancels shackles, right? Because they should just stone the guy. I'm pretty sure I'm definitely supposed to buy a shard. All right. Don't know what our next timings are. This guy is a bit of a problem now. Could go... I can't go butterfly actually. Yeah, we're full mana now. Reviving. I think the I think the hurricane bike is fine, honestly. It will let me kite in and out. Oh, this is good. This is good for ending the game. Yeah, we do kind of just need to wait for Roche. Let's set up a words around Roche. I don't know when it's up, but oh why the f Why would he take an illusion rune? That is extremely griefy. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. This will die really quickly. I'm just going to drop boots and let me hit it on the high ground. Please don't go in. Just let me hit. I don't need the shard. Pick it on someone else. It's actually good on Venge. Some attack speed issues here. Maybe I take the leveler when I'm going high ground. I guess I don't really need the healing with Aegis. I think the attack speed's better, even just to threaten them. Because I definitely have attack speed issues, so I think this is better. Maybe I'll need to swap in it for my my second life, but should be all right. I'm also going to ship this out. All right, tough really not that much. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I actually stoned him. That's pretty cool. The shard is actually super good for sure. We can back after this and push out bottom and then go. disarmed I... all right let's chill just go get out bottom as a team unless he tp'd back maybe he's leaving careful don't get caught guys no. don't jump no you... dude do not go in they, they cannot play the game if you don't go in please don't go in Literally, I'm about to solo kill this invoker. <laughs> Boy, TP bag, we're chilling. <laughs> this is so funny. They can't walk up. They don't have the good enough D push anymore. Like, I'm basically killing them from here. Oh, we have no tier 2. Honestly, can we just throne? Can you just. Alright, alright, we're chilling. Easy push. Easy push is right. I'm gonna just kill this guy. So he didn't have to swap me out, but it's fine. Should be a big snake. Oh, I didn't get it out. I don't know. All right, good doom onto the void. That should be actually. Oh, I'm astral. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I can't move. Eventually, this nonsense will end. They'll run out of spells and... Cannot really move, to be honest, but... Oh, I need to get out, actually. Okay. I should have left earlier. I kind of baited my team there, for sure. Alright, bit of a grief there. I should have just backed and pushed him bottom. That, that was my fault. I don't I didn't think that fight would go so poorly. I don't know what happened. I guess Doom got stuck in the chrono somehow or something like that. Yeah, my team was out. That was a horrible call, I'll be honest. Like my team's right. And I and I'm very okay with like admitting when I'm wrong, you know? I, and I think that's important. Like, if you get super defensive, like I can get mad and be like, oh my god, like don't flame me, like don't get mad, guys. Like, no, I messed up. Like, I'm not gonna yell back at them, right? It is what it is, right? If if I think I messed up, it's it's fine to just say, yeah, I think I messed up.
pretty sure they're gonna die trying this maneuver. He got hit by an AA blast. Oh, he I think he's just dead. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my voice, but Jesus. <laughs> he just instantly disconnects. Oh my god, he just dies. Alright, tough. What are you gonna do? Kinda need to heal my mana real quick, I'll be honest. Ancient camps tend to have mana on each creep. Oh, this one doesn't, of course. I know, I'm just trying to get mana. Oh, oh no. What's happening here? <laughs> Demon's making some maneuvers. What's ages? Do we know? Gotta be out soon. Alright, it's out, it's out. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get it next time. We'll get it next to Roche. Don't worry. Uh, they couldn't kill me the anyway anytime. Uh, especially not without Void, so... Don't have to do this, remember. I guess I'm taking a bit of damage here, to be honest. I'm gonna four step out. Four step? Okay, that works. I'm just gonna try to clear the snakes, to be honest. I'm just gonna hit the snakes. I need to get a snake off to heal my mana pretty bad. Oh my god, that hit me. I need to get a snake off so bad. I have my mat. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, he targeted a spell on me and it hit people. Sick. <laughs> my mana's back. All right, Void is back in the game. I'm actually going to switch out my leveler to the lifesteal item. I think Witch Doctor might just die here. Are we dead? It's actually kind of bad, I think. I couldn't get out of the chrono. Oh, I did get full mana off that snake. Oh no, I think I swapped out. Sick. I cannot move though. Uh oh. Oh? Oof, we almost got him. Do I need to get out? I'm gonna turn off my mana shield just to try to get a snake. Thanks. Oof, I guess I just died of a chrono. It's actually kind of crazy. I didn't think it would be that much of a problem. Thank God I got swapped out there, though. <laughs> we've made a couple mistakes here and there as a team, for sure. We've definitely, uh, we've had our faults. Part of me almost wants to buy an Octarine Core so I can just hit these people with my snakes. Seems kind of like a grief, though, but probably should just buy a Moon Shard. I'll be real with you guys. Probably should just buy a Moon Shard. Damn, I can't even afford a Moon Shard to buy back. There is a double damage, which is super tempting, but as I said, I think Avenge is a crucial part of our team composition. You were suicidal. Oh, Glacius. I played against this guy in Unranked. He was like griefing his Venom. <laughs> Sorry, Glacius, if you're watching this, but you were griefing. Alright, so I got my, my thing off. Get ready, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Play like they're coming. You need to put this guy under. Alright, just get the shit and get out, I guess. How does this guy never get anything off? Like, is is he from this bracket? I don't understand. Every single time. <laughs> Alright, 30 attack speed. Dude, now I attack really fast. I got a moon shard. I don't even need this leveler anymore. Why am I here? I definitely should not be here. They get a snake off onto the shaman at least. Nice, I got a snake off. Cancel the shackle. I'll try to kite out now. Right, I'm gonna try to walk away. Can we try to get out? Can we try to get out? I know I know it's hard for you guys, but... Can we try to walk away on everyone else? Actually, never mind. You know what? Fuck it, we're fighting. Get a bush. 
We're doing it. We're killing them all. Void's on the right. Nice. Super good. I'll try to force staff you. I actually need to turn off my mana shield so that I... Careful, Lodi. Put yourself on her, bro. Put yourself on her. Right, it's gonna kill you. Oh my god, he's such an idiot. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was toxic. That's just like my... That was like my subconscious, like... <laughs> Being honest. Oh my god, it didn't hit the range creeps. Talking about being an idiot. Alright, let's just... We can just wait for OD. Alright, I can even almost swap out my Axe. To be honest, the stats for Mags is kind of good. I can see why people... Oh my god, cast it on the range creep. I didn't learn my lesson. GG. I feel like the, uh, the Octarine is kind of lit. Get some mana regen going, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're all the creeps. Alright, I almost have my mana shield off. You'll love to see it. I think I'll take out the leveler for now. It's actually really important that I get the snake off. I really would love to move, to be honest. Alright, I got a snake off. It's good. This thing, this thing is also giving me so much mana. This shard has been actually extremely good. I woke up too far, Witch Doctor. Wouldn't want to die. I'm just going to try to get Megas when I'm disarmed. I should just hit the racks and... Let the Megas bounce off. I have Aegis. I guess I should be buying DKB to be honest. I'm just hitting Megas, but honestly, I think I'm going to kill them while I'm hitting Megas. I literally cannot attack. This is actually insane. I'm just going to kill them. <laughs> Frick the Megas. All right. I still can't move. I probably should have bought a BKB to be perfectly honest, so I could actually hit something. I could probably just use the BKB duration to hit for a short period of time. It looks like we've won the game. Took us a while. A couple of, couple of mistakes here and there, but, you know, we pulled it out. We pulled it out. I should probably swap out my leveler. Don't worry, I didn't want to move anyway. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot from my communication with my team and decision making. We did make a couple mistakes, but obviously you can learn from those mistakes as well. I will cast a snake on this guy if I can. Psych. And obviously we'll have to go for a celebratory fountain dive. Nice, I accidentally snaked him. I'm disarmed for the 18th time this game. I'll kill you eventually, Invoker. <laughs> Alright! Thank you guys so much for watching! You're the best! You guys are the greatest! Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, if you want me to stream, go buy a gambling sub. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Peace! And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace!